everyone, Ben here with Fly Plugins. And in today's tutorial, I want to explain how to get up and running quickly with S3 Media Maestro. So let's begin. The first thing we want to do is we actually want to go ahead and install S3 Media Maestro. And to do so, we simply go over to our plugins area. We're going to add a new plugin. I'm going to upload and I'm going to go ahead and select the zip file and click install. Now we want to go ahead and activate the plugin. And essentially that's all there is to installing S3 Media Maestro. So the next step is to actually configure S3 Media Maestro so that we can actually uh, begin to add our protected video, protected audio, and protected uh, files. So now what we want to do is uh, click on S3 Media Maestro and go into our settings area. And you'll notice we've got several things to configure here. The first two items uh, that we need to configure are the Amazon S3 access key and Amazon S3 secret key. Now, if you don't have Amazon S3 already, you'll need to sign up for an Amazon S3 account. And once you sign up with uh, Amazon Web Services, uh, then you will be able to create your access key and secret key. So what I'm going to do is uh, pop over to Amazon uh, Web Services and we're going to log in. And now that we're logged in, we've got a whole bunch of options. Um, but the first thing we need to do is we need to get those keys. Uh, in order to do so, upper, in the upper right hand corner uh, where your username is or your account name, go ahead and click on it and go down to security credentials. And you're going to get this little warning message. Just go ahead and just click continue. You can actually click the little checkbox so that it won't show it to you again. And now we've got uh, several options here. Um, the one we want to focus on is the access keys. And you'll notice I've already got an access key here. However, uh, Amazon allows you to have uh, two uh, access keys. Uh, and whether, the, whether they are active or inactive, um, uh, you only get two. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and say create a new access key just so I can show you the process. And uh, basically the access key has already been created now just by clicking that button. And you can show the access key here. And you'll notice uh, you're going to get your access key and you're going to get your secret key. And so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and plug those in. Okay, so that does it for getting uh, your access keys. Now, one thing you can do is you can actually download uh, a file that will have uh, both um, access and secret keys, and you can store that on your computer if you'd like. Um, and the reason for that is once it's created, now you'll notice I, I can't go back in and I can't uh, view the secret key. I can only view the access key. Okay, so basically that's that's about it right now for uh, information that we need from Amazon. And this allows um, S3 Media Maestro to talk to the Amazon servers in a secured fashion. Okay, so now we need to configure our default Amazon S3 bucket. And a bucket is essentially uh, kind of an organizational structure where you can store your files. Now, according to Amazon, it's technically not a folder. Uh, it's merely a path. Now that said, Let's go ahead and pop over back to Amazon S3 and we're going to go into our S3 um, area and you'll notice the first thing you can do uh, up on the upper left hand corner is create a bucket and if you just click create a bucket and you can call the bucket anything you'd like. Now one thing I want to point out right here is that Amazon um, has some guidelines as to how you name your buckets and and one of the guidelines that Amazon specifies is to use all lowercase letters when creating your buckets now the interesting thing is Amazon will allow you to create buckets with capital letters however according to their documentation uh, best practice is to use lowercase so we practice uh, lowercase uh, bucket naming conventions um, and I'm going to provide a link to this Amazon S3 documentation which actually shows you the guidelines for 
uh, creating your bucket names. So the first bucket name I'm just going to create here is just called Fly Plugins. And here you can pick um, a region. Now the region is actually a cool thing because it can actually uh, speed up things for uh, video or audio when you're streaming. Um, for instance, if, if you lived, you know, uh, somewhere very far east towards, you know, Tokyo or even Singapore, you can select those servers so that your content will get served up from these servers. Being that I'm here in the uh, United States, I could I, I could pick uh, Northern California, perhaps Oregon or just U.S. standards. Since I'm actually located in Arizona, uh, I could pick one of the first. I'm just going to go ahead and leave U.S. standard and I'm going to click create. And you'll notice now I've got my fly plugins bucket, uh, which is empty. However, we can go back into uh, S3 Media Maestro and configure our bucket. Now, the next option that we have is the default link expiry time. Now, this is a very, very important setting. You must configure this. If you don't configure this, your videos will not play. So the default uh, link expiry time um, is going to be set for all your video and all your audio that's going to be streamed from Amazon S3. Uh, that's going to be uh, actually the method for protecting your content. Now the default expiry time uh, is going to be uh, a value in minutes. So for instance, if I add 10 minutes here, what this means is that when somebody loads content on your website, uh, a, a page that has video that's uh, hosted up on Amazon S3, that link to that video is generated dynamically on the fly and it has uh, some key elements in there, including the expiry time. Um, and basically, the clock starts ticking the minute that URL is created. So, for instance, if uh, somebody goes into the source code, pulls out the URL, posts it on a forum on the internet, within 10 minutes, that link will no longer be valid. Now, if the user that's on the web page on your website refreshes the page, a new link or new URL is generated and the expiry time countdown begins again so there'll be another 10 minutes for that specific url and if they go put that on the internet obviously it will not be valid within 10 minutes so this is something to think about um we we recommend somewhere between one and 30 minutes uh 10 minutes is I, I believe is sufficient okay so the next setting that we have here is the audio video width now obviously audio player the audio player and the video player are both going to have a width and this is just a default value. Now it does not need the uh, the px at the end uh, to define pixels. Just go ahead and put in the value 640. And obviously the video is the only one that's going to have a height. And so we're just going to go ahead and uh, specify the uh, default video height here. And lastly, you can enter your license key for S3 Media Maestro, which is very important. If you'd like to receive future updates, make sure that you uh, enter a valid license key here. Uh, for the demonstration, I'm not going to enter a license key. Uh, lastly, we have the show powered by link. Now this option here allows you to um, join uh, Fly Plugins as an affiliate. Uh, you can actually um, uh, enter your ClickBank ID. If you have a ClickBank account and you like uh, uh, making uh, affiliate commissions, you can do so. Uh, by clicking yes, show powered by S3 Media Maestro link and adding in your ClickBank ID here. If you do not wish to participate in the affiliate program, which is fine, go ahead and select no. And that's really all there is to configuring S3 Media Maestro. And once you're done, don't forget to click save all settings. And now we're ready to go ahead and create some uh, pages and posts with secured video, audio, and perhaps even downloadable files. That concludes this video tutorial on how to get started with S3 Media Maestro. Thanks for watching.